poke the hornet's nest of, you know. I'm getting real philosophical as the marijuana kicks in even more. We're going on a journey with a tickled man. I think for me, when you combine that in with the dated mechanics, it gets to be really lazy because it runs exactly like the last game from the way you move, you swing your axe, you like, it's just, it's a copy and paste. I would really love to see some more of... Well, dude, at that point, engines are expensive. Like, yeah, you go back and play other Souls games, Elven Ring plays in many ways identical. Uh, uh. But... I don't know, you can go after a lot of games for this, if you're given taking points off of this game for that. And I'm not even a huge God of War fan. I beat the first three, and then, and, like, then they had, what was it, Ascension, that weird one that didn't do well. They tried to have multiplayer in God of War. <laughs> what the fuck? The fluid gameplay comeback that we saw in the older games. I love... I would say the gameplay is fluid. And again, I'm not a big reboot fan. I would say it's very... I would say it's actually a little more visceral, like, kind of... I still think the combat in Ghost of Tsushima is superior, though. That's the best melee combat I've ever experienced in a game, ever. How the Chaos Blades... Have a good night, beautiful Angel Blossom. ...just more swingy than they were in the older games a lot faster than they are here where it feels a little bit more sticky especially when you hold the bumper to pull off that combo it never really feels smooth it feels very clunky the way he pulls off that combo when you hold the right bumper now generally when you you can have a good time and they feel okay they feel responsive enough but it never really feels quite as good in my opinion as it did on the games well these are a game these are a total different flavor man Um, I've played every God of War since Ascension, and my favorite part of Ragnarok was Kratos' growth. His relationship with Atreus was amazing. Yeah, it, it's... And, and, and people were saying, like, the consumer was saying, like, yeah, God of War is just kind of getting tiring. So to... Lord Rich, thank you very much, Scott. And Phil, they just needed to, like, reboot it. Kind of like what they did with Tomb Raider. Like, the old... Janky control Tomb Raider. Even up to like the P, it was just, eh, time to reboot. Same with God of War. They had to refresh it. All right, have a good night, Zach Talks Tech. Yeah, I got some interesting stuff I got to film tomorrow. I have a bizarre NES clone. I think I'm filming that tomorrow. Maybe if there's some news. But I'll probably just be streaming and filming that video. So, have a good night. Building upon that and building, like, let's say, actual combos would have been really cool to now there's a challenge to pull off this new combo, not necessarily making it like a fighting game, but giving those more advanced players options to move in the direction of more advanced gameplay versus what feels to be kind of just a copy and paste of the last game. New players, though, will be happy to know that this game is really easy to pick up. It's not terribly difficult. If you click give me a story, they'll give you a story. The only downside that I find is like early on in the game, they don't really give you a waypoint. So like in the opening scene where you're like at the house, I did spend a little bit of time running around and I got a couple of locations wrong as to where I could go. But the game isn't so challenging or so vast. We went from like, now we're into reggaeton. <laughs> We went from like jazz music at an airport to reggaeton. That you can't figure out where you need to go if you get turned around. I do wish there was always a waypoint for people who wanted one, but again, for the exploration types, it gives you a little bit of that in the opening. Advanced players, yeah, he played. I'll give you a story, yeah, at least for what he showed. So allegedly, or apparently, we could just say allegedly he played on that. Not so much towards the end of the game where things are a little more linear, but again, it was there. Now, you'll also be proud to know that despite people being really angry about Anger Boda being a black girl, there are no politics in this game. So for people who are trying to bash the game and say it's just politics and all that stuff, it's really not. It's a fun game that I didn't run into anything like that. So that part, I... Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Interesting that he's not pissed off at that. Okay, points are given. No one is angry about it. However, him not being angry, 
is shockingly pleasantly surprising. But people are still saying, wait for it. So I'm waiting for the doozy. I can completely say when I've heard people saying that, it's just wrong. Because I, I, she did a great job, by the way, Anger Boda, the person that played her, did fantastic. I couldn't tell you how immersive it was when that character was in the screen, talking to Loki and, and doing all that stuff. That was a really immersive part of the story. And I think especially you'll appreciate it the more the story progresses and then the more you see how things play out without giving too many spoilers on it. Yeah, wait, wait, did I wake up in an alternate reality where quantum TV sounds sensible? Yeah, sure. Yeah, here we are. So that I thought was a good one. Now I think we have to look at it realistically and say like how often are we gonna play this game? That kind of determines if a game is worth anything in my book. And I think this is a good game. It's honestly, frankly, probably the best game of 2022 so far. Now, that's not a compliment because we haven't had really good games this year. We just haven't. But this is absolutely the game of the year this year. Despite what some people think about Elden Ring, this one takes the cake because it just doesn't look... Oh, Sleeping Dogs was slept on. It's a shame the studio shut down. To engage your own. Even though the opening is slow, that once you get the story going and get into the game, it is fun and you have a lot of time and you're, you're on like almost like an interest trip. Like, hey, like I want to know what comes next. Like you're, you're kind of like waiting for the next little bit as it comes. And it's a fun experience that almost anyone of any walk of life can pick up and enjoy. And I think for video games, that's so important. Now, again, realistically, how often you play it, that's where we have a little bit of a problem because they don't have chapters, so you can pick your favorite parts of the story and say, you know what, I like this chapter because all the action is in this scene. If they would have done that, like we see in some Tomb Raider games or even some other games, I think that would be more ideal than the kind of format that we have now. Or, or I think it was like... Yeah, like nothing here. I'm sorry I'm being so quiet. But so far, it's fine. And, like, there may be things you disagree with. But, Quantum, here's the thing that you, like, I need to make abundantly clear. You being subjective like this never had an issue. That was never the thing. It's when you were, like, being factually wrong and, well, wishing death on an entire community of people and, uh... Telling people to kill themselves. That's that's where I would I and, and being just factually wrong in your reviews, those things you cross the line. Like, dude, Quantum, I'm sure you're watching this or will eventually watch this. The fucks I give about your subjective opinions are less than zero. You are a hundred percent entitled to them. You make it like I come after you for your opinion. I don't care about your opinion. You could have, you are free to have your opinion. There's plenty of people that I'm sure hate Elden Ring. It's one of my favorite games of all time now. There's plenty of people that hate Cal There's plenty of people that probably hate Super Castlevania 4. Another one of my favorite games of all time. That's fine. You being a freak of nature, a bigoted freak of nature, that wish death on people, that's not okay. And on to a lesser extent, being factually wrong in reviews, like things you were wrong with with Steam Deck and your terrible Elden Ring review, you lose everything every time you die. That's what we were not okay with. Anyway, I gotta piss. Birds, soothe this audience while I urinate. Philip I do believe this is our
in the bathroom taking a piss and thinking about and I don't know why it's maybe because it disturbs me so much but Gavin McGinnis I've talked about this before he has a dangerously big dick hey. uh, that man before his Twitter got shut down that mother like he, I thought it was going to come out of my iPhone screen and start slapping the shit out of me. Rich, why were you looking for Gavin McGinnis' dick? Explain. I wasn't. What happened was, you know how you just go down the rabbit hole like a motherfucker? I know I've told this story to a lot of people before, but some of you may have not heard it, but I want to tell it again anyway. Well, fuck yourself. So I was going down the rabbit hole of Twitter. I'm like, oh, Gavin McGinnis. I had a little tiff with him. He had stupid takes on video games. Gavin McGinnis had stupid takes breaking news. I'm like, I'll go down, scroll down, check and see what he is up to. You know, saying his typical fascist proud boy shit. Keep scrolling, keep scrolling. Just, you know, it's typical Gavin McGinnis. You know, I have a beard, so therefore I'm alpha. Here's his dick. He was running down the motherfucking beach completely naked and his dick was like an elephant trunk ready to slap the shit out of you. It's a moment I will never forget. I have been sexually assaulted by Gavin McGinnis' dick through his fucking Twitter feed. Oh my God. You just were watching a radio show. I'm sorry. But at least you heard the audio, so not all was lost. God. God damn it. The enemy is nearly out of lives. He's running three legged race. <laughs> oh, man. I don't remember what the fuck I was talking about. Let's go back to, uh... I took way too much of that spray. I... You know what, to everyone, all the trolls out there, you're right. I am a degenerate. <laughs> that could be clipped. <laughs> Round one. Uncharted. I just stick with PlayStation. Uncharted lets you pick jazz. My point being is, like, chapters aren't hard to implement. We need to work on that with these storytelling type games so we can pick what we want. Um, outside of that, though, it was a really fun experience. And even though it was slow in the beginning and I had a terrible time pouring out of my mind, once I gave it a little bit more time, again, coming back to it, because I'll be honest, it was awesome to come back to it. Once it came back have to a good it, night, I really Rich. did have a blast and it was a lot of fun. The puzzles are engaging, they challenge you enough, but not too much, which I can appreciate about puzzles not being too difficult, but just challenging enough. All in all, I would say this game is a solid 8 out of 10. It is a really good game, and I think a lot of people like it. Again, there's no such thing. I think it's my opinion. It's a four, and it would have been a 9 if it would have had chapters and wouldn't have been a copy of the combat-wise as the last game. So just to kind of go in. I have been summoned. Yes, you have. Hello, how are you? Even Dr. Sexy Coco. And why it got the rating it did. But again, be that as it may, my tip for the comment section down below. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. The number one branded on. Until the next video, I'll see you guys later. Dad. That was perfectly fine. Whether you you could agree disagree with his criticisms, but that's subjective. 
Again, Quantum. Yeah, like, you, are you on your meds? You're lucid here. Like, I would have... You think I had some hate vendetta against you? No. Well, I, I hate you now, since you've claimed that I'm a pedophile falsely a billion times. I kind of will never like you ever again if you say that about me. Um, but if you were doing shit like this, even if you dislike the game, you gave it an 8 out of 10, it could have been a 4 out of 10. It's subjective. I don't care. Strong. You're fully entitled to your opinion. It's your other bigotry and clownery that got your ass roasted by the entire commentary community, which I'm essentially retiring from. I'm too old to be part of that drama shit. It's not even though I just fucking had a spat with the quartering today, but I blame someone that I won't mention. Claim it was just too good. You gave me delicious food with those screenshots. Yeah, I'm too old, man, to be- it. Like, this was perfectly fine. You could disagree with the stakes on the game, but it's just opinions. Now, what did Abby send me? Man, my voice is getting real deep now. Ladies, how are you? <laughs> That's creepy, that laugh. I shouldn't have done that part now. I see. What the fuck? Perfectly fine review. Yeah, I have that deep and sultry voice right now. Actually, speaking of absolutely amazing voices, now you're gonna say, "Oh, Rich, you're telling us to watch your conditions pretty on the extra benefit." But that's not the reason. There's plenty of people in the Elden Ring and gaming community that are attractive females. This woman's voice is not only soothing, but is the one of the most incredible voiceover actress voices I may have ever heard. And I am a pretty good judge of talent because there was someone else I knew that was never sweet Anita. I mean, I wasn't like far from the first found her. Like, she's not just going to be a flash in the pan because of the Tourette's thing. She's going to be big. I wasn't wrong about this. This one, too. This woman's name is Miss Chalice. What's one that we shall watch? This one. We're not going to watch the whole thing, but I just have a feeling. And it's not just about her looks. If it was just looks and the voice, she could look like me. With that voice, she would still be going places. Like, I don't care about the looks. I mean, she's in her 20s, but she'd probably be like, you're my dad anyway. That's not my concern. My, I'm just saying, like, S-tier content about Elden Ring in a voice like I've never heard before. I'm going to shut the fuck up now and let her talk. Buck is the prime example of a character who is so easily missed. Buck. 